What's up, everyone? Today, I'm going to go over how to prevent Walmart from canceling your order as a reseller while you're drop shipping on Facebook Marketplace. So if you guys want to hear how I did it when you first began, um, stay tuned to the end of the uh, video and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to talk or watch me talk about how to make money online, Facebook drop shipping, drop shipping in general, how to make money with Amazon and things like that, and future videos of pretty much on the make money online niche. Go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I'm just gonna double check to see that I am live here. You guys are here live, give me a hashtag live. If you guys are here on the replay, give me a hashtag replay. And then if you guys are on Facebook right now, go ahead and join me on my YouTube so you guys could go ahead and see me, okay? And then also, like I said, come over and give me a thumbs up. Um, I did a few announcements, I guess. I did announce that I launched a course. Um, and for whoever is interested, you guys will you guys will have to um, go ahead and click the link. You guys get a very special discounted price, um, a, a tenth of what it would cost regularly, okay? All right, let's crack at it. So back to the topic, okay? Topic is how to prevent Walmart from canceling your orders from resellers like us, right? Drop shipping on Facebook Marketplace. So how many of you, I want you guys to go ahead and comment down below, right? How many of you guys ordered something from Walmart for your drop shipping needs, right? And for all of a sudden, they canceled your order, right? Your online order that you are fulfilling for your drop shipping needs, right? So say, for example, all right, let's give you some examples, all right? Charlie ordered a coffee mug from your, I'll say Facebook Marketplace store or you know, the thing. You, so me, right, Bobby, or you ordered the coffee mug from walmart.com and put Charlie's shipping address as the address. Walmart.com then cancels this order within one hour or within 24 hours, right? Whatever the time period is. So my question to, to you guys is, how many of you guys have experienced that? Go ahead and comment down below. I wanna know how you guys actually resolve that as well. And since you guys are here, you guys might not know that. So let me answer how I actually handle this, okay? What did I do? Well, first you want to understand Walmart's issue, right? From their perspective, you guys see that? Yeah? Yeah, okay. Uh, let me just share that even more, okay? And put this over there. Okay, Walmart's issue, it's basically, okay? Red flag, right? Let's, let's highlight that. Red, 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 red flag, red flag. Red, 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 red. Oh, that doesn't work. <laughs> red flag. What is the red flag, I you say? Well, the flag indicates that the billing address, which is my billing address, Bobby's address, is, is different than the shipping address, which is Charlie's address. Why is it a red flag? Red flag because um, it in indicates fraud, 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 right? So it's basically the Walmart system of saying, this is fraud, 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 uh oh. This is fraud, 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 fraud. Okay, does that make sense? This is fraud. So, 
back here. So what does that mean? Fraud, fraud, fraud. So they will cancel the order. They don't want, they're not in the business of losing money, right? So if say that Charlie got a hold of Bobby's information card and things like that, um, they don't want to, Walmart does not want to be liable for um, fraud, right? So scams like that. So Charlie found Bobby's credit card and information, used his credit card information to order it order the coffee mug or any other item to Charlie's house. So you see two different addresses, okay? So back at it. So what does that mean, okay? So what you do is go on to the walmart.com site or their call their customer service, okay? this customer service so what I'll do is I'll go to walmart.com I'll go to accounts and help right and then there should be a live chat if you do not see a live chat go ahead and click contact us and then um, what can I help with the track and order start a return return policy it's something else so what I like to do pro tip guys pro tip Pro tip, all you can do is type in agent and they will they will ask for an email. Okay, my email is bobby email whatever dot gmail dot com, sure. And let's start with one minute. Okay. And you wait, you hear the sound, and then you wait, you wait, you wait. Um, and then once they come on and say hi. Here is my order number. You provide the order number, right? And whatever it says. And then they're gonna ask you for to confirm the billing information. You give your name and billing information. And then basically they'll tell you, well, I'm not gonna do that, guys. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> basically, they will tell you, right, um, why it was canceled, and then what they'll say is, you know, this isn't, what you'll say is this is not fraud. This is not fraud. I intentionally bought this item or as a gift for a friend or relative or whatever it is, coworker. You can make up any, anything really. And then the Walmart representative will say, okay, we will have to reset the automated fraud system or something like that. Please retry in after 30 minutes. Okay. So they'll say, okay, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll note that in the system, say it's not fraud, retry in 30 minutes. Use the exact same billing information credit card, right, uh, shipping address or information, same PC or computer, same IP address. So basically the same exact order and nothing different, right? Nothing different. Okay, so that's what I would do. And then, okay, and then as a safety net, make, making sure it's not Walmart, only Walmart, I would go ahead and call my credit card and um, credit card tell the customer service number or whatever debit card or whatever um, financial institution you're working with. Call them and say, hey, did anything come up as a red flag for this walmart.com purchase? And if they say yes, then all you have to do is confirm that you are making those purchases. Remember, so if a credit card knows that, you know, someone online purchased something with your card and your information, but shipping it to some like Charlie, right? Shipping it to Charlie and it's in like California and I'm in Boston, that's a very big red flag, right? So keep that in mind. Um, what else do I have? All right, so recap. This is for anyone that uh oh, where is it? Where is my stuff here? Okay, recap. 
So if you have any issues ordering from walmart.com, um, give me a thumbs up because this video um, applies to you. <laughs> and comment down below. I want to know if anyone else has experienced this issue and how do you guys overcome it. Um, so recap is to contact Walmart customer service, one. Two, contact your credit card company, make, making sure that they know that this is a legitimate legitimate purpose or right, and per purchase, right? And not fraud. So Walmart will say, okay, um, after 30 minutes, retry, blah, blah, blah. perfect. Um, after another 30 minutes, if you tried it and that has not worked, go ahead and contact them again and have them escalate it to the supervisor or I, I think it's called um, their high tech fraud department or something like that, okay? So two, factors here, contact Walmart, contact your credit card. And um, like I said, if this helped you, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I will talk more about Facebook Marketplace, drop shipping, making money online via affiliate marketing, and pretty much creating passive income. So if you want to learn, um, I just launched my course, an A to Z guide of how to go ahead and drop ship on Facebook Marketplace. And I can tell you right now, the students that I have right now are killing it. I'm having $1,000 weeks. Um, that's gross and not net profit, but they're very on their way. As long as they do the listings and things that I tell them to do day in and day out consistently, I have no doubt in my mind they'll be making $3,000 in profit uh, per month or even more, depending on how hard or how often they're doing this right so i'll just drop a link down below if you're interested if you are interested but have any questions go ahead and drop it down in the comments down below or join the free facebook group that i have for you guys that will talk all about facebook drop shipping and the basics of it as well and if you are looking for long-term money right so instead of uh working hard or active income with Facebook Marketplace, there's a way that you can uh, make this passive where you go ahead and do up all the hard work and let the commissions come every month after month after month. I'll leave that link down below where you can partner with me. And um, me and my mentor will do all the selling and telling and you reap the, rep, um, the benefits of that. Uh, I'll leave that link down below um, and like I said, guys, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, watch the next video where it pertains to basically how to create passive income and then all about Facebook marketplace dropshipping and making money online. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next time. Peace out.